Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. I'm with columnist Ron Higgins, and we're it's Auburn week at LSU. Uh, time to look back at the Mississippi State game, look ahead to Auburn. LSU finally gets to play a game. They go on the road. They it wasn't pretty, and it and it and it, it was another Les Miles uh, patented cliffhanger. But uh, a lot of good things about the game, and uh, uh, some bad things, uh, including penalties. Good rushing game by by Leonard Fournette. Um, they wanted everybody wanted LSU you to throw more and then Brandon Harris tells us that uh, they called uh, uh, st- uh, about uh, ten or nine or ten more passes than they actually did but checked at the line because Mississippi State was in a blitz or whatever so uh, all in all uh, it's good to get the first game out of the way LSU probably will be a lot better this week against Auburn certainly much more focused. It's always good to win the first game and, and make mistakes and get out of the win because you have that, that teaching moment where you go back and say you did this wrong and did this wrong I mean, LSU's mistakes really hurt them in the first game with, you know, more than 200 yards of offense taken off the board, 17 points taken off the board. I mean, Les Miles said today, I mean, the offense wouldn't even be discussed, uh, you know, as far as, you know, people maybe not liking the way it was called the first game if they had scored more points, if they, you know, those penalties hadn't been there. To a point, he's, he's correct. Uh, m- most impressively, it was the defense and the defensive line, the way they played, holding Zach Prescott to his career low. And just basically throwing a lot of different looks at state that really LSU didn't do last year. Yes, and uh, it, that's good going into another spread team, even though Auburn's spread is a little bit different from Mississippi State's. Um, and Auburn seems to be having some issues, too. I, you know, it's the, the football coach's axiom is, no, they're a good team. It doesn't matter what they did last week. They can come in here. And, and like LSU, Auburn will be focused on Saturday. Uh, they've got some, some problems at quarterback, uh, the place LSU struggled last year, um, and uh, uh, really pulled one out uh, last weekend. Uh, but... LSU Auburn games are always brawls. They're always uh, the, uh, there's something strange happens, or they're close, or, or crazy things seem to happen. And I think uh, LSU will get Auburn's best game. Oh, they will. You know, LSU and Auburn games are barn burners, as we know, since they burned down the old basketball arena at one LSU Auburn game. Uh, you think of the Demetrius Bird catch in the end zone when everybody's going, "What's he doing throwing that? That let me work. They're crazy." Uh, I mean, I think people all over the nation were doing that. I was in Memphis, and I'm, I'm screaming the TV like, what is he doing? Uh, LSU Auburn games are always like that. They're down the wire. And you know what? They've been like that forever. You can go back to the when LSU played Auburn in the late 60s and 70s uh, against Pat Sullivan, uh, Heisman Trophy winner, and Terry Beasley of Auburn. Those games were incredibly tight. They've always played tight games. It's probably the most underrated rival in the SEC. It really is. Okay, well, stay with us. Uh, We'll give you all of the uh, information on the uh, upcoming LSU-Auburn game. For Ron Higgins, I'm Jim Kleinpeter. We'll see you on NOLA.com.